Hello beautifuls, it's me Minnie and I'm back again with another video. Uh, I know I said I wasn't going to do this one, but I got so many like comments from you guys wanting to see like a demo and review of this and I love to give you the content that you like to watch and that's what's important to me. So here I am and we are going to do it guys. I'm going to review the Ion Liquid Hair Makeup. <clears throat> Ion liquid hair makeup. <laughs> Damn. All right. So to do this, obviously you need the product and I think they make four colors right now. Gunmetal gray, silver streak, empire gold, and rose gold. I'm pretty sure those are the ones that they have. So you're going to need that product. I only have the one box because I don't even know how I'm going to apply it. So I didn't think I needed more than one. If this is something you want to do to your entire head and you have a lot of hair, you know the drill, buy more than one. <laughs> You'll need some gloves, disposable or reusable, your preference, a bowl, a brush, well, a tinting brush, just to be more specific, <laughs> a comb, and a hair dryer. So to be honest, I have absolutely no idea how I want to apply this to my hair. I don't know if I want to do the ends. I don't want, I don't know if I want to do some highlights. I don't know if I want to do it all over my hair, so I am just sitting here like, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? I have no idea what to do, you guys. I wish you were all hanging out with me right now so I could be like, guys, what should I do? Because I have no idea. Um, I don't know. Maybe we'll start slow and we'll just like do a streak and see what happens from there. Um, but yeah, I just want to say that... Uh, I know my, my ends are mostly dead but because I refuse to trim them, but my hair has been in so much better condition. It is so shiny and it looks so healthy and I totally attribute that to all of the good products I've been putting in my hair and using the Ion Booster, the Olaplex dupe. If you look at my other videos, I um, went over it there. You can use it as a standalone treatment too and... I've been being good to my hair, so I'm almost afraid to do this, but it's super temporary. There's no ammonia, no peroxide, no developer, nothing, so we should be okay. Let's get started. Okay, guys, this is my infamous hair color bowl, and it still has a little bit of remnants of violet from when I dye my hair, but I'm just going to pour some of this in there. Holy crap, that looks metallic as fuck. Look at that. That is something else. It kind of looks like mercury. Oh, I'm getting nervous about that. Okay, so I'm going to try to section off a piece of my hair. That's not too bad. It doesn't have to be perfect. And I'm just going to move that there because I always usually wear a side part. And I just want to do like a highlight. I haven't do done this in so long. And now I'm doing it on camera, which is just absurd because I can't see myself. For those of you who know, I film on my iPhone 6. So I do have a screen that I can look at. Oh dear God, Jesus take the wheel. Um, I don't, I cannot see <laughs> very well. Oh God, that's too much. Okay, so if, if you're wondering what the hell I'm doing is, I am just trying to do like a weaved section of hair, which is where you take the rat tail end of a comb and you kind of do that and Oh, that's not that good, is it? Mm, that'll do. Whatever. All right. So, I'm just going to try to section this piece of hair off and get the rest of my hair out of my face. Oh, my God. Help us all. So, what I'm going to do now, <laughs> there's hair stuck to me. Oh, my God. What a freaking hot mess. What a disaster this has already become. <laughs> so, I have this section of hair. And that is the section I'm going to apply the color to. Um, and then hopefully, you know, when I put my hair back down, it'll be like a subtle highlight. Nothing too crazy. So let me put my gloves on. Oh my God, I have to share this with you guys. So I just want to put my gloves on. What the hell? What the hell? I, I knew this would be a disaster. <laughs> But we're going to push forward, we're going to march on, and we're going to get this shit done. So, hopefully, yeah, this one, sure. Sure, I put this one on camera, on, on camera, no problem. You guys missed, I, I you guys missed the spasm of this breaking. Alright, so we have that section of hair, and this is the one that I want to make silver. So I showed you guys what that looks like in the dish, and we 
Oh, yeah, and make sure you have a crappy shirt on that you don't care about. I think I got this one like six years ago at a Pack Sun, and although they're not cheap, you know, it's a, I don't think, you know, some of their shirts run like 20, 30 bucks. It's not a cheap shirt to me. Um, but uh, it's old and it's seen its day, so I don't really care what happens to it at this point. I don't usually wear it out of the house. Oh, fuck, there's no turning back now. Um,. Okay, so I'm just putting the liquid hair makeup all through my hair, and I have not saturated the other side. I don't know, I feel like I'd be better off doing this with my hands. You see how much is on my glove? They say that um, once you've done this that you want to run a comb through it, and I will do that shortly. Oh, I cannot see what I'm doing, y'all. Well, barely. That's all right. This shampoo's out after two shampoos. Holy silver over black hair, you guys. What? Are you kidding me right now? Fuck, that's kind of impressive. Okay, okay. All right, not so bad. Not as scary. Yeah, this is kind of, in some spots, it's far easier to put on with your fingers. I'm so afraid that I'm going to look like an old woman when I uh, blow dry this because some people look so pretty with silver hair and I always see their hair and I'm like oh I wish my hair could look like that but then I'm like shit if I did that I'd probably look like a freaking one of the golden girls I love the golden girls especially Blanche she was a hoe but she was fun we don't slut shame on my channel so go Blanche <laughs> uh, the old lady was always my favorite though she was the uh, she was a real pisser. She was hilarious. All right, I'm not going to go any closer to my root. You know, I can't really see what I'm doing, and I don't want to make it, like, atrocious and get it all over. So, oh, I think I just did get it on a section of my hair that I didn't want it on. Well, as you guys can see, holy shit, this has been over black hair. So I'm just going to take, I'm going to stain my desk in the process, apparently. I'm just going to comb this through. Oh, fudge sickles. <laughs> oh my god, you guys, you're seeing it here first. What I do for you, because I love you. All right, I'm going to pause this real quick. I am going to uh, get the blow dryer on this and show you what it looks like after that. If I can turn this off. No, no, no. Okay, guys, so I spent quite a while um, blowing it dry and um how can I explain this to you um okay first of all it was very very messy it got everywhere it's super liquidy um it didn't like drip that much but I mean it's just I was like all over the brush and all over the bowl and it's just a mess what I absolutely hate about this so far like the one and only true con of this so far is where it is in my hair feels disgusting. My hair feels dry and gross. Like it feels like I'm nine years old and I'm like, oh my God, mom, please buy me the color hairspray from the drugstore and you spray it in your hair. That's what my hair feels like. I did watch another girl do this on YouTube um, and she didn't really review it. She just kind of used it and um she did not say I mean just look at it I mean it does look cool don't get me wrong uh I'm not gonna do anymore but like look at that guys look at it I combed it through I did everything as they said to do it um and although it is certainly silver especially over black hair now that's pretty damn cool uh ugh like look at my ends like like look and my hair before, I mean, here's my hair that I haven't put it on. Look. Like, as, let me try to clean this comb off real quick. Look at that. Look. Side without. Side without. Okay. Side with. Not okay. No bueno. Is this a good look? Is this a good look, guys? Hmm? All right, y'all. So, um, okay. So I did this side and I blew it dry and then I said I liked it so I went back and I did a little bit on this side um, just to kind of balance things out a little bit. 
Pros, this is really easy to use and it's not damaging to the hair. Cleanup was very easy. I had gotten it all over my hands and now uh, I, I just have kind of like sparkles left. You can't even see them. But uh, what I did get on my hands came right off with soap and water. Uh, the bowl and the brush, uh, everything came out of there with just a little bit of hand soap and water as well. Um, picked up on my dark hair, if I didn't already say that. Those are all pros. Um, really cool. Uh, totally cool to try out a hint of color, a new color. Um, and it's really cool that we live in a world where you can have dark hair and have like no commitment to having color in your hair. I think that's really neat, even though this is silver, but at least we'll know what I will look like when I'm an old lady and my hair goes all gray. So I'm just going to part it. I don't know if I should look at you or at my other mirror. That's not helping. So let me just look this way. Okay, so I normally part my hair like this. Um, the cons are definitely that they make uh, the product, not they, make my hair feel, it makes my hair feel a little dry. Um, but I did, maybe I just, I don't know, maybe I didn't comb it through enough while it was wet or whatever. Or maybe it just needs some more time in the hair. Um, kind of feels a little sticky, so definitely like here I can find a spot, like see, I did not comb that through well enough while it was wet, I can already tell. Um, and because of that, it feels like when you spray like the Halloween, um, you know the Halloween colorful spray where you're like, mom, when you're a kid, I want pink hair for the day, and they're like, all right, and they buy that color hair spray. That's what this feels like if you let it bunch up like I did and don't comb it through enough. So we have a little Cruella de Vil thing happening. Not white, but silver. I'm a nerd. So, I mean, overall, you guys, this was really fun. It's cool. Um, it works well. I would imagine it would be super vivid if you had, like, blonde hair. If you use this metallic and, like, saturated the shit out of your hair, this would be super duper bright. And um, I think that's neat. Um, again, learn from my fail. Comb it through really well while it's wet. And if you want to even keep combing it through while you're blow drying it and blow dry it until it is thoroughly dry, um, thumbs up if you like my silver, <laughs> my touch of silver in my hair. Let me know what you thought about this. Let me know if you use this and how it works for you. I would love to hear about that. Um, a warning if I haven't said it already, if you use henna, henna products in your hair, do not use any metallic hair dye. Nah. Don't ever put metallic stuff in your hair if you're using henna. It just it has a bad reaction. I'm not sure what it is. I just know it's a huge hair no-no. So don't do that. So if you guys enjoyed my ridiculous video, <laughs> feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. I always love hearing from you. And uh, I will try to post on Snapchat or Instagram or something tomorrow my hair in the daylight so you guys can see the color in the daylight. I'll, I'll, I'll put it on Instagram because it's easier for everyone to see. You can follow me there at at the mini goddess, all one word. I will link it below. I love you all. I'll see you soon. Bye.